The season of spring plays and themed birthday parties is upon us. I am a mother of two and I love throwing costumes together for fun events. So I wanted to show you how to make a Lily costume from the Wing Feather animated series. She's got this branch sort of thing happening in her hair. I wanted to do that for my daughter, but not with an actual branch. I wanted something that would stay put and also be clean. So I'm going to show you a detailed instruction on how I did that. And I also want to give you an idea on how to make her outfit. Welcome to Celebration State, where we help Christian creatives to grow in their creativity and in their love for God. So for a list of materials, what you're going to need is just some hot glue. You got a hot glue gun and some glue sticks, some bobby pins, and some felt. That's really all that you need. Some scissors to cut it up too, that's true. But that is all that you need to make this hair clip. You should maybe have some of this around the house, but if you don't, I'll have links in the description to help you find what you need. So what I decided to use for colors, and you may have a different color palette that's just available to you or what you prefer, but I decided to use two shades of brown to create a sort of wound, almost cartoon looking branch look. And it was definitely a direction that I didn't have to go and you could just use one color for your branch if you want to, but I decided to go with two. So what you're gonna be doing with this felt is cutting it into thin strips, and it doesn't actually take a whole lot of felt to make this, which is really nice. And at the very end is gonna be a more pointed edge, like a sharp edge, because when you get to the end of the branch, you're gonna want it to be very thin there because it's going into the leaves. And all that I did here was to open up one bobby pin and that was going to be the structure of my branch and then I left one bobby pin closed, that was going to be my anchor piece. So this is a patient process and please try not to glue your fingers because it's not fun. Trust me, I know. And what I started doing is with the hot glue gun, attaching this felt fabric onto these bobby pins. So when you're starting your second strip, you're gonna be winding around and covering what you made on the first part of the branch.
So it's okay if you have little spider webby pieces, you can always peel off, cut off those little spider web pieces. It's the thicker pieces that create a problem. If you mess up completely and it's unfixable, don't worry, you can always try again. These materials are super cheap. Once it has cooled all the way down and you have it looking the way that you want to, you are going to be attaching it to your Lily's hair. And my daughter didn't really want to let me curl her hair a super bunch, but I recommend doing that, getting it a little bit teased and curly and up, and then putting this hair clip in as the final touch. And all that you're going to do is with that closed piece, that's gonna slide onto the hair. And then with two other bobby pins, those are gonna be your anchors that attach on in an X. And that's gonna give you a really solid attachment, a really good amount of security on this hair barrette. And so your daughter will be able to play and run and jump and have no problem at all wearing this thing. So as some of you know, we went to the world premiere for the Wing Feather animated series, and this was the costume that we threw together last minute for my daughter to wear because she was gonna be Lily because we were allowed to dress up and go to the show, so why not? So this girl costume was just kind of a generic colonial dress that happened to be blue. And you can use something like this if you are in a pinch, if you have all the time in the world, and you wanna sew your own cute little blue dress, then go for it. What I liked about this dress is that it already had the apron. And so the way that I made it more Lily was number one, I added patches. Patches are super easy to add onto your costumes to give it sort of an old and almost peasanty kind of a feel. And so all that I needed to do was just cut out some felt pieces in different colors to give it sort of variance and look a little bit interesting. And I just sewed that onto her apron that came with the dress. So this may be a really great costume idea for you as well if you are just trying to throw something together and you wanna do it on the cheap and very quickly then go for this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna learn about how to grow in your creativity and in your love for God, putting them together like this, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Be so blessed.